Hello YouTube, going to share a little recipe with you today. If you like pear preserves, you'll probably like this one. I cut up my pears, peeled them. I used a melon ball cutter to get the core out of it and remove the stem. Got them all cut up and diced up. I actually had about 12 cups, but you only need at least 5 cups for the recipe I'm going to use. After you get your pears prepped and cut up, Use a little bit of fruit fresh or a little bit of citrus juice on them and that will keep them from turning brown until you get everything prepped and ready to go. Uh, kind of like if you didn't put uh, potatoes in water, uh, your pears, apples, that type of fruit will get a little bit brown. But today I used two lemons, three limes, and two oranges because I had about 12 cups of cut up pears. I'm going to use a micro planer and we're going to zest all of the peel off of the outside of the two lemons, three limes, and two oranges. After we get that off, we're going to put that in a bowl by itself and kind of separate the, the peel so you can dip out how much you need of each one of them. And then you're going to juice the citrus into separate containers. I did actually use all of the juice from all of this. I ended up making about two and a half batches, but each batch contains five cups of pears, two cups of sugar. I used Marino's All Natural Sugar, half a cup of orange juice, fourth cup of lemon juice and lime juice, and we use a heaping teaspoon of each of the uh, zest. Now my zest isn't packed down; it's just loose from being zested, so. It's probably equals about a teaspoon if you press it down into the teaspoon. But don't worry about that. You don't have to have exact measurements on the on the uh, zest and all that. So just watch this as we go through this. After we get the zest done, we're going to cut that lemon in half. I'm using an old-fashioned glass uh, juicer. And we're going to get all the juice out of those lemons. Now your lemons will have seeds in them. So make sure you pick the seeds out of the juice. You don't want those seeds to go into your preserves. It takes a little work to do this if you're doing it by hand. I shouldn't have got out my electric one. It would have been much faster, but it would also have been that much more cleanup. As you can see, I got all the good out of that lemon. While we're doing this, we're going to need to water bath our preserves. So you'll want to start you a pot of water, and you'll need to use a pot that will, you can put your jars in and be able to put enough water that you can cover your jars with water. Okay, I used a half a cup of orange juice, one fourth cup each of lemon juice and lime juice, and I used a heaping teaspoon each of the orange zest, lemon zest and lime zest. All that's going to go into a pot with five cups of pears, the dice cut up pears. And to that we're going to also add two cups of sugar. I use Marino's all natural sugar because I don't like to use refined sugars, bleached flours, processed type foods. We're going to use it in its natural state. The Marino's All Natural Sugar is also uh, non-GMO. It's uh, we've been using it now for probably six, seven years. And we really like it. Okay, after you get your sugar in here, your juice and zest in here with your five cups of pears, you're gonna cook this on a medium heat. Make sure you stir it often, and you're gonna boil and cook this for 15 minutes. <clears throat> Once it cooks for 15 minutes. It is actually ready to jar up and then we'll water bath it. So out of that one batch, we were able to make six half pint jars. Be sure that you take a, a, a wet you know, cloth that's been in soap and wipe down the rims of these jars. Because you're probably going to get some of that sugary juice on it and you don't want that to interfere with how your lids are going to sit. When you add your lids and rings, you're going to do what they call finger tight. So it's going to be hot coming out of the 
the part of the pot and you pour it into the jar. So you get two cloths, hold the bottom, and you use your pinky, I mean, I'm sorry, your thumb, and your first two fingers. That's what finger tight is. You're going to put it in a, in a kettle, a canner, whatever you're going to use. I just use the regular pot because these jars are short. Cover them in water and you're going to boil them for 10 minutes. Once they boil for 10 minutes, that's water bathing. Remove them from the heat, let them sit five minutes, remove them. I place mine on towels and then cover them with a couple of towels and that keeps them warm. I'm going to leave them there and don't touch them for 12 to 14 hours. That's how you make citrus pear preserves. It's that easy, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. As you can look at the color in these, you can see the zest in there. They really turned out great. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and the recipe will also be below. It's the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.